This Blackheart's base, so it's all about the doubloons. And on the left yeah. side, we have our German team. A little bit unknown, but let's see how they can fare against the big contender here. They are the Northern Lions with Arfis, with Jaina, with Uther, Rainer, and in the bot lane, soloing it, Tassana. And on the right hand side, in our red trunks, we have the Polish team of Alternate. And in the top lane, in the bright wing, it is Krolu. In the mid, we have Mopsio on the stitches, Vassil on the Chen, we have Gluhammer on the Valor, and we have Gusio on the Falstad. Yeah, Gucci himself flying on top of the watchtower just to take that early on, give him a little bit of a better vision here in the middle of the map. And this will allow them to uh, set up a nice team fight. And look how they're spreading out already. This is actually quite kind of interesting. Because uh, they're keeping uh, they're keeping Northern Lions out of the game right wow, now. This is this is sneaky. Look at Northern Lions in the top lane, just yeah. sneaking about. They've revealed Good themselves. Good has down. spotted them. Yeah. I, uh, I like the, this top lane strategy is a strategy that a lot of teams used to lose, used to use, but sort of went away from. Where you basically push the top lane very quickly and then dash as dash down to the mid lane to get ready for the chest. And they are here in time, but they've left it a little bit late. But they're gonna try and fight here. This is a four versus what's about to be four at the oh, chest and oh, Nice hook on ATM. He's taking a lot of damage. So, oh oh my God, the slam! Go, Go Phil. Phil. Also trying to get out of the fight. Guccio jumping on top of him, but he's being stunned here by Arfus. Oh no. Yeah, uh, that's a... Uh, that's Jaina in a nutshell. <laughs> yep, Gets that's Jaina going down. First blood goes to alternate. And not really surprising, but a really good team fight for them. Uh, they almost got Rainer there as well. Sh uh, Arfis was also incredibly low. So this gives them a lot of potential just put on the pressure in the top and mid lane. Yep, very well played. And apparently SK's opponents are saying SK didn't show. Which does make sense, because, I mean, he was offline. Well, he, he went offline, like, after that was reported, so... Oh, okay. I don't know, maybe SK's players DC'd? I am not aware. We'll work that out. We'll find out in a sec. Alright, so... In the, at the moment, we can see that Stitches is trying to get ready for Mercenaries to spawn, which will be in three seconds. So he can start clearing this little pirate camp, get some extra coins. In the meantime, everyone is just clearing their lanes. One thing I'd like to point out is that both Faustad and Brightwing both took bribe, which is good on this map due to the uh, free bruiser camps, and also due to the fact that you can bribe the chest. It's incredibly strong, and just noting that Stitches already took the first two coins, alternate really gearing up for these t map objectives, and that's so incredibly important on Blackheart's Bay. I mean, I can't stress that enough. You can win this map by just taking the map objectives. Yeah, very nice play there, but also, and those are actually uh, those are actually Northern Lions pirate camp. The stitches did steal yep. there. And now they're heading towards the bot lane. We're gonna see if they can catch out Tassadar. He does spot them with Oracle, and immediately yeah. pops his face shift to get out of there. Does not want to get caught out. Yeah, I mean, this is something that um, that's so hard to pull off. Getting Tassadar, um, and I don't know how he know how he just pushed the Oracle. Oh, Vassal getting picked up here. I don't know how exactly that happened, but a really nice pickup here for Northern he Lions. Interrupted turning in, he got rooted. Uh, okay. And that's uh, Jaina's strength as well. I mean, we, we saw her weakness, but that, that's her strength, just putting out the damage. Yep, and I would like to point out, if we at any point look at the damage chart and are like, wow, Jaina has no damage, or that's what you end up thinking, remember that critical strikes do not show up on the damage chart. Really? So Jaina's damage that she, bonus damage that she's doing when enemies are chilled is not going to be showing up accurately. Ooh, that's a nice steal here for Alternate. Uh, Stitches just ran in there, dished out a little, a little bit of damage out, and then Krolu just um, pulled him, or actually oh, teleporting down there. Too. Nice hook. Yes, Ooh, can. incredible block here on Phil, and he's being blocked by the Seed Giant as well. And there he goes down. Nice pickup here for Alternate. MVP Giants, so well played. <laughs> Such a yeah. great block. Really good pickup. I mean, that steal and then the hook follow up on Arthas. Really good job. And Mopsio is just killing it like usual on the stitches. Yep, doing a fantastic job. Gluehammer been soaking in this mid lane fantastically, just clearing all of these minions. Doing a great job. Top lane currently abandoned, but that's because Falstad just flew to the top lane. 
to yep. grab that hard cap. They did, however, leave before they picked up the coins. Oops. Oh, uh, that's interesting. A uh, little bit of a mistake. He's probably going to notice later on. Yep, Shen is straight yeah, going for it. To go back and then change yeah. his mind and went to lane. So that's bribe on the bruisers and um, mess asking you can bribe the chest. You used to be able to bribe the chest, but you still it's. Can. What? Wait, are you kidding me? It's it's in the patch locks that it was removed. Oh, was it? I think so. Oh, I was not aware. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I must have missed that when I went through the patches. Okay, and the Bruce is doing some decent work. They have. Oh, they actually pulled four heroes up here. So this gives alternate free reign over the entire map just to clear out more and more coins. They um, have the first barrage already hitting um, in the mid lane. And now taking bots, bruises as well. Yep. And they're actually trying to do this as much as possible. Rather than using the push up in top lane to turn in what coins they have. They're trying to get as much pushing going down as possible due to the fact that if you can kill the wall or maybe a wa the wall and a tower when, you, uh, when you're pushing a lane, that means that the pirate, w the uh, cannons will actually destroy the fort. Yeah, so you want to get as much damage in early on. And I love the timing here on the bruiser taking in the bot lane. Because now you have the bruisers wailing away at the wall, doing a little bit of damage that you just talked about. Oops. Uh, and Mopsio can just go for the coins here on his own, because Tesla is forced to defend. Yep, he has to defend those knights, has to clear them. And like you said, Mopsio gonna grab all those coins, and he's now going to turn in nine. And that will be a full turn, and this mid fort will go down. These knights weren't able to get a wall in the bot lane, but I believe it's top lane that gets priority first. But there's no damage down there at all. Clairvoyance has been popped by Northern Lines. They know that the boss is being taken here for alternate, but they can't really do anything about it. Jaina is in, in top lane, but I mean, what what is she going to do by herself? And that's the boss being taken by alternate. Still in firm control of this game, but we could be seeing a team fight here now. Yeah, both oh. teams have their ults. They have for a while. We haven't seen any pops. This might be the time that we see some ult pops. There's the Strokador. It misses everyone. And Tastar might escape. The hook misses as well. And Tastar gets rooted by the Chen. He does go down. There's the Jada root, though. Really nice ability there. Trying to do as much damage as possible. But Chen just going straight onto Jada. Just going full ham. Jada gets healed by Ufa. Can she stay alive? She does back out. There's the Divine Storm. Chen still chasing, though. How much health does he got when he comes out of this? This could be a very risky maneuver. He has pretty much full health. Down yeah. goes Jada. He's Down in a way. good spot. They did pick up Arthas, who was completely separated from his team. And there's the sandwich on Rozak, and he should go down as well. Really amazing play here by Alternate, just dominating this top lane, getting the fort, getting the team kill. This does give him the time to turn in these coins and just continue on with this barrage. Yep, that is everyone except Tassadar they were able to kill off their fantastic play. And now we're seeing Brightwing move down to the enemy hard to the enemy easy camp and he will likely oh, bribe one of those and let She's waiting, she's there. waiting for them to come in. And Falset yeah, joining the fray as well. Like, they both have a bribe. Oh what an excellent timing again. Look for the hook, look for the hook! Oh, oh so close. Mopsio messing up. I don't think that I was, was gonna say that. There, that was a blind hook. That is a very difficult shot to make. That is true, that's true. And they will go for more and more coins here on the right side, where we have the Daboon camp up and Siege camp up. And the Barrage is hitting bot line. And as we said, they took out the camp, uh, they took out the towers before, so this should finish off the... Uh, yeah, it should possibly finish it off. I don't know, maybe one shot missing. It does! No, close, but it doesn't actually take care of the... That's fall. one dive by, um, by Feltstad. That's breathing on it. You breathe on that, it's yeah. gonna fall over. That's true. And it looks like they just want to get that final shot in to just improve their XP advantage here. But maybe just go for a pickup on Tesla instead. Oh, he tries to get away. Hook misses. Wow, Mopsio not on top of his game tonight, but they still get Tesla and the fort. Yep, get Tesla and the fort. Very, very well played. We're currently seeing Northern Lions attempting to sort of deal with everything on the map. Their top lane has now been cleared. They're actually pushing with that. Mid lane's a bit pushed up, but there's not really much they can do about that because they have to now defend bot lane due to alternate doing a huge push and there's another hard camp here to help them with this. Yeah, the sea giants in the back doing good, good work. Oh, felt that almost getting Rainer there in the back. And that is a good pickup. Arfis is taken out as well. And Jaina falls. She did get her heroic off. Ufa, that's Ufa face, dying. Time in the back there was taken by Mozio. He does go down. He's now in the back going to try and do some damage to Falstad while he still can. But we have seen Northern Lions have had to back up here. Very little they can do about this. Down goes the keep. 
Will we see a dive by Ultimate to try and I think so, with a 4 yeah, level advantage so. and the Siege Giant still going at it. No, they're playing they it really safe. Low. They don't have anything to tank, the minion wave is not there yet. So they're going to yeah. take this bottom hard camp and will likely heal up in the meantime. There's the bribes. And they have lots of coins so to turn in as well. So they could go for the next barrage. We have only two keeps remaining here on Northern Lion's side. So uh, the next barrage is just going to do that much more damage. Maybe they're gonna dive in deep and uh, go for the gates again? They might. They're gonna get a full turn in here, definitely. So that is a lot of damage. Golem's up in one minute. Looks like they're just playing it safe. They're gonna get their own hard camp and just get everything pushing before they go for another push themselves. Yep. They will have to stop the bruises in top lane now. But, I mean, they have bruises of their own. And I think let's check on Brightwing and Felstad. No, no Bribe up yet. But there was a Bribe coming in. Let me check. Um, you press V, select the player, press V, and you go into their perspective, but, um... That does not uh, work for me. Oh, oh, you gotta set it up in the hotkeys, I'll tell uh, you later okay. on. Okay, so she does have a bribe, one bribe up, but Gucci doesn't yet. Okay, I just go about it, I just go about the sound effects usually, but that's cool, but yeah, they used them on the bottom hard camp, so they did not have them up yet. But now we're gonna see alternate. Beginning to push stitches, once again going for the hook, completely by him, wasn't able to find anyone. Nymph, backing up, doesn't want to get caught out here, there's a lot of damage potential in this Northern Lines team, but Ultimate just outplaying them yeah. very heavily. Two levels ahead, or two and a half levels ahead, and we have that level 16 talents, there's the combination attack on Shen, making him really, really strong now. Uh, the 200% bonus damage on his flying kick, so that's... Uh, that's basically making him kind of like an assassin. Then we have a crit rise on Brightwing, Blood for Blood on Vela for the extra slow end health, and Pulverize on Stitches, so the slam build, uh, just finishing that up, and Overdrive taken. for Fishing Hook, that's a really interesting thing here by uh, Mopsio. Yeah, I mean, he maybe he noticed that he missed a couple of hooks, and, well, they do want one more... He, he wants to be in the front lines now, so I think that's that's a decent way to play, play it out. Yeah, he's going for he's going for a more damage style rather than the uh, Hail Mary hooks. And this seems to be working for him. He actually gets a bit of a mini stun there. It is quite nice to see. The mini stun's going to be so nice at interrupting this team. Yeah, looks like they want to get this next engage off. And notice that Vassal has a lot of coins, so they want to get these towers. Ooh, there's Felstead with an amazing shock and awe. Jaina is so low. There comes the final kick by Chen, taking her out. And Arthas also taken out. Good hook coming out of uh, Mopsy one more time. Uther also being pushed out. And Tesla on the run. Good stun here, but they will get away for now. And these fights have not been going that well for Northern Eyes. We're seeing a bit of a disconnect here between the engage abilities and the actual engages. We saw Jaina there get an incredible Ring of Frost down there, rooting three members, including Faustad, but her team did not engage. Meaning the alternate were able to get off shock at all before they were even interrupted or burst down. And then Ufa's stun came far, far later in the fight. Yeah, not really going according to plan. Possibly missing out a little bit on the team communication there. But this is game and alternate takes it. Moving on to the round of 16, I think. And yeah, what a game it was for alternate. Uh, just ruling from the beginning till the end. And 